the Baruna Music Festival. CTS TV is helping to sponsor this unique event through partnering with Unite Productions, whose president Paul Kelly is here along with his son Devin to give us the details. Because if you're anywhere within driving distance of Toronto, that's the place to be in July 19th and 20th. Uh, Paul, give us the big picture. I, as you know, with United Productions, we go from coast to coast. Uh, we've done 48 shows in different cities already this year. But now in our hometown, we're getting to do a multi-stage, multi-day uh, Christian music festival. We're really excited about it. It's the first for this one. So Baruna is new to, to a lot of people, but um, it's going to be absolutely amazing. We're praying for good weather. You can yeah. pray with us for, <laughs> uh, for great weather. And uh, it's right uh, downtown Toronto. Uh, right at the flats at Molson Canadian Amphitheater, the Echo Beach stage, which is, uh, it's becoming, for the summer, it's, you know, the premier venue for Toronto. It's sand on the bottom, so, and it's right on the water. Uh, and people would, would know the location if they've ever been to Ontario Place, because it used to be Ontario Place, correct. but now it's, uh, it's being transformed. Yep, it is being transformed. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so for two days, uh, July 19th and 20th, yeah. uh, we're going to have, like, 30 bands and then a whole bunch of, like, speakers speaking. and uh, Yeah. And, yeah it's well, that's very exciting. Uh, something else new for people might be the name. Uh, Baruna? What does Baruna mean? Yeah, we were looking for a name, and we'd come up with three names and then tested the names with, yeah. with people. And, and Baruna is a place in Narnia. And it's, okay. it's the battleground. It's where good triumphs over evil. And uh, so we wanted something that had spiritual roots, mm -hmm. and yet it wasn't like overtly, you know, uh, like a Christian word, but yet it, it had the content to it. So Okay, so the Chronicles Christian of life, Narnia fans will, yeah. will have we'll, already clued we'll in, yeah, but sure. others might not know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, Devin, uh, you're the kind of the media marketing guy working with your dad. It's kind of a, a neat uh, father-son uh, setup there. Uh, <laughs> what, what kind of uh, bands can we look forward to? Yeah, uh, there's going to be some amazing guys. I'm really excited to see uh, Crowder. He's going to be bringing some new stuff, um, some music that we, ha we haven't even heard yet. Um, Jeremy Camp is going to be there. He's really excited to be coming back to Ontario, and we couldn't be more excited to be bringing him ourselves. Yeah. Um, Starfield, one of Canada's larger Christian music groups, are going to be doing what they do best, um, just ministering to everybody. And uh, 10th Avenue North is probably Canada's newest favorite uh, Christian music band that uh, is just going to be an amazing day. They just share their heart so openly and so well with with the kids and the, the young adults on. It's just an, an amazing experience. All right, and, uh, and, and besides those groups, there's probably going to be a, a number of, of groups, maybe not, uh, not as, as well known as the ones we just saw, yeah, but sure. uh, some great uh, talent. Tell us about some of the others. Yeah, there's, um, there's a, a group called Wren Collective Experiment coming all the way over from Northern Ireland. Um, they have a real folk um, Irish kind of stomp your foot to it kind of music that they bring this worship aspect to. It's, it's, a, it's a really great, great experience. It's a lot of fun actually. Um, there's a group out of Denver, Colorado called Gunger who it's more of an experimental worship but it, they kind of add sounds that you wouldn't think worked but then when you hear it into the music it's kind of like an epiphany. Oh wow, mm -hmm. that's how music is supposed to sound. Mm -hmm. uh, and then an artist out of uh, Nashville called All Sons and Daughters, who, who are just two worship leaders at a ch local church down there just doing an amazing work with, with what God's blessed them with, and they're going to be leading us up here. Sounds great. Now, Paul, uh, there, there's really something for everyone. Like some people might be hearing and seeing some of those bands and thinking, okay, it's all kind of youth, young, adult focused. Yes. But there's really something for everyone. There really is. Uh, I mean, we have God Rocks. Uh, you know, everybody that watches 100 Hell yeah. Street would know about God Rocks. It was kind of birthed here. And uh, so they'll be there for kids. Um, we have uh, Brian Dirksen, um, who's probably one of the most prolific worship songwriters in Canada. He'll, he'll be there headlining the Friday night. Speakers like Erwin McManus, uh, amazing author, church leader, Roxy Cavey from The Meeting House will be uh, delivering a message on Saturday night. And then Tim Huff, uh, who's worked with uh, the homeless and, and street people in Toronto for many, many years, will be there just bringing a, a message. And uh, we're really excited about, about all of it. 
And there's a lot of activities to do if someone's not at the, at the stage watching a band. Yeah. What else can families be doing? Yeah, there will be like a market area where there'll be all sorts of exhibitors and you, you can buy product. Uh, there'll be all sorts of food vendors. Um, and you can just go hang out by the water because we're on that little island. There's a island. beach area. There's a beach yeah. area, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sounds great. Now, guys, you have, uh, have put a lot of work into this, and, uh, and we know it's just going to be a, a fabulous two days for everyone. Uh, so start spreading the word, folks. It's, it's less, well, just over two weeks away, I guess. Right. Uh, it's a Friday, Saturday. Yes. Uh, and the information that you see on the screen there, and just remind us what the website is. So barunamusicfestival.com. And people can come for one day or they can come for both days. A little cheaper if you come for the two days. And we'd love to see everybody there for two days. All right. <laughs> okay, well, let, let's do it, folks. Uh, show up and, uh, as I said, spread the word. It's going to be a tremendous time of getting together. And as we said, the first ever kind of multi-day, multi-stage uh, Christian event in Toronto. Yeah. Uh, fabulous. God bless you guys on this huge effort.